So for class limit, class limit is 44 to 48. You see, it is starting with another thing entirely. That is, it is starting with another number entirely. So we have 49 to 53, 53 to 54. But unlike class boundary, but class limit is also called class interval. Please take note of that. But class boundary, we have it to be 43.50 to 48.50 then it is starting from that same 48.50 to 53.50 so you see that has the difference between class limit and class boundary and of course class limit is also known as what class um class interval class limit is also the same thing as class interval then for class width you subtract the upper class limit from the lower class limit to have your class width so that is that for class width. So for cumulative frequency, you start with the first number, you add the first number with the second number. You add the second number with the third number up to 30. One amazing thing about the cumulative frequency is that once you take the sum of all the frequency, it gives you the same value as the last cumulative frequency. That is, you are going to have 30, which is representing the last cumulative frequency value. Then for class limit, when we say, sorry, for class mark, when, we, when you're asked to look for class mark, you add the upper class limit plus the lower class limit together. Then you divide it by two to have your word class mark. Similarly, even if it is a class boundary, you add the two boundaries together. You divide them by two to have your word, to have your class mark. Now, class mark, class width is still the same thing as class length. Class width is still the same thing as what well, as class length. That is the difference between a class limit or the difference between a class boundary. Now the difference between this class boundary is 20 minus 10. 20 minus 10 will give you 10. That is called that 10 is called a class width. It is also called what a class length.